Hello everyone! Welcome back to this game! When we last left off, we unlocked Scenario 11. And in the previous scenario, we met a few new pixels. One of them is Benjamin, then there was Benjamin's dad, and then there's Anna. Benjamin has a jetpack made by his dad, and he kind of snuck away from his dad in order to look for the uh, white pixel area, not pixel, what is it, what is it, whatever, the access to the internet. He's, he's kind of sneaking his way to take a peek at the internet against his dad's wishes. But there's that whole pixel cloud situation, which is trying to prevent people, these pixels, from reaching the internet. And that is undoubtedly going to become an issue here in Scenario 11. Let's see, the network connection was the biggest security loophole we left in the system. Eventually, Thomas would use it to achieve sentience. In the early cycles, it was the downfall of many of our most promising AIs. In other words, for example, Benjamin here. That, that, does, not, that does not bode well. Yes, Wario Land, the fountain. The fountain which allows you to catch a glimpse of the internet and escape into it. There's Benjamin and Anna. And who else? Oh, you look familiar. Which one are you? Um... You're Sarah, the double jumper. So this is definitely a prequel, then. Sarah was awed by the square. Oh. Its voice boomed, raised above the roar of the jetpack. You don't happen to have any sandwiches, do you? Hmm. Doesn't this look fun? Oh boy, no checkpoints yet. Okay, how long do these... Okay, so it's simply a matter of getting each of them across. There's no needing to hit any switches. Yep. I thought I could sneak past that one. You know, this would be a great place for an achievement. But again, I don't think there's going to be any more, considering we've already unlocked them all. So unless there's, like, somehow new achievements that, like, somehow get added, but I don't see that being the case. don't know where we're going. Okay, there's water down there. Is there, like, gonna be spikes up here? Nope. No spikes. So, at first it seems to be just a matter of making it through. Benjamin liked the little purple fangirl. She was kind of cute. And she seemed really impressed with his jetpack. This. Hold on this a sec. This is how Anna should have been looking at him all this time. But no. She was pure naysaying. She did understand the dream he had, the importance of what he was doing. Whoops. That double jump was cool, too. Not that we've had much use for the double jump yet. Um... There we go. The fountain of knowledge sounded fantastic. 
Benjamin hadn't told her what it was, really. She suspected, but he didn't know. He plowed off her head while she jumped behind him, helping the increasingly resigned Anna. Sarah suspected Anna had no faith in Benjamin. She was scared. Ha! <laughs> she had not the faith to believe in their leader. Sarah found herself thinking more epically. She said, Oops. Uh, I, I, well, that answers a question that I've been wondering since the start of the game. What happens if you, uh, actually finish the stage before the narrator finishes? Let, let's hear the whole story. What is this chapter anyway? Consequence. Yeah, that, that's not good. This does appear to be the last chapter, by the way. The Fountain of Knowledge sounded fantastic. Benjamin hadn't told her what it was, really. She suspected, but he didn't know. He plowed off her head while she jumped behind him, helping the increasingly resigned Anna. Sarah suspected Anna had no faith in Benjamin. She was scared. Ha! She had not the faith to believe in their leader. Sarah found herself thinking more epically. She suspected it was Benjamin's heroism. Well, every hero needed a faithful disciple. Maybe that was her. It definitely wasn't Anna. <laughs> that it then? Alright. Um... Darn it. Darn it. Also, Warrior Land says, Now, once again, I feel like we have a mixture of two musics. I still hear the title screen music. Well, the, the title screen music was kind of there, yeah, but it was... Uh, it was fading into the level song. It's not instant. Okay, that's kind of weird physics. Get up there. Thank you. Hit that. Uh... That looks like something I don't want to try, so I won't. Ah, this is the end of your journey, though. But what about her? Okay, going back for her. Thank goodness for that jumble jump. Wait, so are there no more buttons? I mean, there's a button over there. What am I missing? We, oh, she can it. definitely done this time. She had tried. The self-aggrandizing square and... The purple orator were never going to listen. She locked the door behind herself. She would stay here where it was safe. She could wait a few cycles. Who knew? Maybe this would be enough. She was done with adventure. And she had no idea what sandwiches even were. Sarah laughed, but she had no fear now. 
The doubter, Anna, had hidden away. Benjamin carried her even higher. He swore the fountain was close, that soon she would see him touch it. He said it would reveal great things. She hoped he might share some of them with her. No, I don't think that's what I'm supposed to do. Well, here's a difficulty spike. Okay, there's 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 a way out of her there. She there she has an exit. Can't finish the stage without her. The world surrounding the fountain was brighter than the rest. Light seemed to engulf the space around it, pouring into the chambers. Benjamin was close. The jetpack was working. There must have been Benjamin another. He thought of his father again. He thought about how proud the big square would be of what he'd accomplished. Nope, still another somewhere. Yes, Beer Force, the pun was intended. And Wario Land says that this level doesn't seem as bright. Yeah, some of these are pretty dark, it seems. On my screen, I can see everything just fine, even if it's a little dark, but I can definitely see the background and the shadowing. That was pro. Uh oh. Oh, that's what's happening. Okay. I was I was thinking the spikes were gonna close in on us. Sarah knew she could not follow Benjamin any further. She would wait here. He would return soon enough. And he would tell her everything. Nope, taking them with us. No, 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 there was more story again. There was more story again. So listen and you'll hear the level song kind of start to overlap the title music, and then the title music will just slowly fade away. Sarah knew she could not follow Benjamin any further. She would wait here. He would return soon enough, and he would tell her everything. The lights grew even brighter, and with tears in his eyes, Benjamin ascended. Man, imagine if you actually made the effort to go up here without Sarah because the game told you. Wario Land says in the main game it was you unusual. In, in the main game, it was unusually impossible to finish a level until you heard all of it.
Well, I, I... shone before him, its light reverberating off the walls percussively. It was awesome. It was everything he had hoped. Sandwiches didn't matter anymore. Cute purple fangirls didn't matter anymore. It was only Benjamin and the fountain. There were a few instances in the main game where I waited for the story to finish before actually moving on. I probably could have finished them before the story finished if I tried. This map seems familiar. The light engulfed Benjamin. He was... He, he couldn't... Still alive. Can't help but notice, by the way, and it probably was this like this the entire time, but his jetpack particles are kind of the same as the fountain particles. So we just got a maze now. You know, this would be a good place to be hiding achievements, but we don't have any anymore. Which is kind of a bummer, because there's a whole lot of maze here. I kind of want to explore to find stuff, but I know there's not actually going to be anything Benjamin to find. Was blind. Benjamin was blind, gotcha. He had seen shadows, bright lights data in innumerable and unimaginable combinations and then it had gone he wasn't ready he sat there was nothing else to do he'd try and find his way home tomorrow I really don't think this is gonna end well Here's the end. Sarah fell. Benjamin was stuck up there. She had no idea if she'd ever see him again. Okay, that was easier than I thought it would be. Fountain had destroyed everything. It had unleashed the clouds. It had blinded Benjamin. That's not good. Surprise, there's not more spikes on the way down. Sarah swore she would see it again. She'd get back to it. She would know what it was and what it contained. Sarah would eventually get to see it. Hold on a sec. What is the point of this over here? Is this another reference to an older level? Hmm. Well, that's that. That was kind of confusing. This, this game likes to kind of leave you hanging about the fate of everyone. Still no idea what happened to Paul or Team Jump. Now we've lost track of Benjamin and uh, poor Benjamin's dad.
Well... At least the game's fun to play. And the story is interesting, even if it does leave a whole lot of questions. It actually kind of makes me wonder if there's... More DLC that I'm not aware of. I should probably check that. So I'm going to check that right now, in fact. Open up Steam. Waiting it for it to open. It's not opening, so I'll just continue the credits. Somebody else can look. So Maddie says that this, these past two scenarios were a lead into the main story, so it couldn't have a huge prequel, which is true. It was ultimately Thomas and his friends that would eventually get into the internet first and make the world ideal for other pixels, so of course Benjamin wasn't going to make it first. My guess is that Benjamin is said that he was kind of blinded and tried to make his way home. We'll, we'll, we'll say that he did eventually make it home with his dad and maybe someday in the future they made it out into the internet. On the bright side, he wasn't captured by that black pixel cloud. So, I'd say... Good game, even if it does leave some questions. I like the story, I like the dual nature of how the story was told with the narrator as well as the quotes at the start of each chapter. The gameplay was fun, although the difficulty was kind of all over. Some levels were easier than others, even immediately following really difficult levels. Although, I'm not going to fault it too much for that. Super Mario Bros. 3 does the same thing, and I love that game. So, not really a big deal. As long as the difficulty spikes don't happen too early in the game. Uh, the actual difficulty spikes, not the spike level that I was going through earlier. So, um... We're done with this game. Cool. So, the next game I'll be playing is, of course, Sam & Max which was a game that was gifted to me a couple of years ago by Theo Vellum. I'm going to go ahead and finally get through those now. There's like, oh, let's see here. It's an episodic game, and I believe there are 16 episodes, so it'll probably take me a, at least a couple of months to get through, even streaming three times a week. So the first one, the first stream of this, Assuming plans don't change, is going to be on Wednesday, uh, 5 p.m. Eastern Time, which is... S which is what in GMT? 9 p.m. GMT, which is Greenwich Mean Time. So, I'll catch you guys then. Thank you guys for... Oh, of course I gotta do this. I want to thank my patrons for being my patrons, including Ixion and Drew Dracofolis. And of course, I'm going to be giving a special thanks to my special sponsor, Lit Dragon. All right. Now. Now we are done. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next one.